Hey guys, welcome to Hypothetical Nonsense. We're talking about reincarnation. We're talking about canceling Christmas. We're talking about being conjoined twins with Zendaya. Thanks for, er, enjoy. So what are we talking about on this podcast? You'll find out. That's the, nobody knows. Okay, cool. Except for me. I know. I'm She's excited. She's the, the master. I'm the master. And you that, I don't like that word, master. Yeah, me either. The, it's the primary bedroom now. Yeah, oh, I say that too. You say primary <laughs> and, bedroom? And I look down on people that say master bedroom. I'm like, you don't know what Do you correct means. them? No, I don't correct them because I'm like, I'm just going to, I'm going to wait for someone with blue hair to actually correct them and have it be way more embarrassing. Because if I do it, I'm going to be like, like a hey, correction? I want them to be embarrassed about it. I'm. You said, what do you say? The master bedroom? Well, I have said that. Well, yeah, me too. Do you too. know what it means? No. But I think I can put two and two together in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can we introduce the fucking show? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Hypothetical Nonsense, the show where nothing is real and everything is <laughs> hypothetical. We are with a wonderful guest today, Adriana Lee. Yay! Hi, I'm Adriana Lee. Philanthropist, crochet queen mommy. Mm -hmm. Cat mommy. I, I don't Cat even crochet. I am, but I don't crochet. Crossbow and arrow. House oh. husband owner. Yeah, I am a, a house renter. Uh, oh, almost homeowner. So home renter. Home renter. That's fucking crazy. Are you? What's the club? What's what's it called when you ride horses? Aqua, 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 aqua a quest, a quest, equestrian. Do I give horse girl vibes? No. I feel like that's like a, not a good thing. No, you give off like mermaid vibes, like the kind of person <gasps> uh -huh. that would have like the mermaid tail. And I like, did have them. I used to make those. So I'm right. Damn. I just know. I, I was I was left alone when I was a kid for too long, so I decided to make swimmable mermaid tails. Because my mom also went to design school, so I had access to a sewing machine. Oh fuck yeah! So I would swim in them, and wow. I had business cards and everything. It was called Aquamarine Adri. Did you have You're like too a honest to be a horse girl? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're delusional. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yes. Yeah, so no. As I, just, I was saying. As as, I as you were saying. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. If you show. could, so you were also a Twitch streamer. Yes, and a kick and streamer. A, oh, a, a kick streamer. Do yeah, you do but tumble not too? Come, gumble? Rumble, no. Oh. I only kick in Twitch, I don't rumble. Okay, do kick in Twitch, I don't rumble. No. <laughs> 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 that was so stupid. No. Okay. Leave it in. Um, Keep it in. I thought Keep it was it funny. Um, I thought it was a bit humorous <laughs> myself. <laughs> really? Um, my first question. This is a hypothetical, but it's kind of real. Cause I'm. Let's say like I'm like a. I'm like a. I work for like Mumford and. What's Mumford and Sons? Mumford what is and that? Sons is a band. Oh, what's like oh. what's like a generic company like gener gener generic two men hardware in stores. Oh. Hardware store and, and Sons. Co. Okay. Hardware store and co. Yeah. And I offered you, you could quit Twitch and work full time as an accountant and make $150,000 a year. What kind of accountant? Like the like spicy tax. one or the real one? What's the a spicy, spicy one? Accountant? That's what, when you have OnlyFans, you say, I'm an accountant to people so they don't ask. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. There's no one asks questions about being an accountant. If you're in the CIA, <laughs> if you're in the CIA, you often say like, "I'm a hedge fund manager" or "I'm an accountant." And yeah. It's like, you do not have a degree in finance. What the fuck yeah. are you talking about? No, like a, a spicy accountant. That's yeah. Awesome. A re a real like like I do. Ta I'm gonna like do your taxes well, this year, and I'm gonna. I, I could do that, sure but I haven't even away. done my taxes. I'm gonna do your taxes. Well, let's say like you were trained on the job and stuff. Like you really yeah. need no prior knowledge, and it's like. It's like a consistent salary, hundred fifty. I guess I'm asking, like, do you how how like much do you value like like being a Twitch streamer? Like, would oh. you, if you could just like have like a consistent income at another job, would you quit? Regular I job? would. You would do it. Me too. But only because I've been in it so long that I kind of know. Because when I first, okay, I don't want to get deep, but like when I first joined Twitch or when I first like went to TwitchCon, I saw everyone like partying and all the influencers, and I was like. <gasps> this is what I want to do. This is the coolest thing ever. And they can just yeah. do whatever they want all the time. Mm. And That's I worked real. like three jobs at the time and never slept and was addicted to Adderall. So I was like, oh my God, if I could just wake up and stream and make videos, like that'd be the life. And I'm not going to lie. It is the life. Like I enjoy my free time, but also 
because it's very unpredictable, it yeah. leads to a lot of anxiety and a lot of finance issues. Like yeah. I'm notorious for not having good finances right now. You guys remember at the bar when the guy walked up to me and said, "How are your finances?" Oh my god! <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's crazy. if I You're not on trial here. Yeah, but it's kind of like if I have a credit card and I know maybe one month I might make a lot of money. Why not run up the credit card? Why not wait until no, you no, get no, the no, money no, and then no, run up no, the no, debit no. card, no. which is the real money that you actually have? Because if I use my American Express, I get Sky Miles. Um, we, we don't want this caught on film. Well, the people know I have an American Express. I'm very okay. public well, about word. it. Well, why wouldn't you? Well, 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 everyone has American Express. Everyone. Well, I don't. A, every, almost everyone. Well, real people. Sorry. Yeah. Damn. Like I don't have an American <laughs> Express card. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, uh, Actually, I, I will say, though, that being a content creator, uh, it, it's fun. All right. Ice cream so good. <laughs> <laughs> I know that reference <laughs> to the TikTok live streams, <laughs> yes. but I feel like the there is a, a mindset and a kind of pressure that you have to deal with when you're doing this work that you don't have with a, a regular job. Because with a with a with a regular job, meaning a a, a job where you don't have to sell your personality, mm -hmm. you can kind of just put your head down and get your work done. But in this case, you have to sort of constantly be a likable and charismatic person yeah otherwise yeah. you will get bullied yeah if you don't whore. have that then you don't have the job <laughs> you'll get called as a, a woman <laughs> so it's like if i'm not like happy and charismatic and a good person which i'm not and i can't be all the time then yeah. they're like why are you being such a slut you're right i should just stop doing that Caroline, i should stop being a slut you are a light a, a light of the sun's sets no, I'm trying to be kind. I'm get you a new one. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. Cut that out. Um, but yeah, it's true because like sometimes I am envious of people who go to work and then they get to watch a show after work and not think about work because mm, they're just yeah. clocked out. Because I'll be watching the show and I'll be like, hmm, maybe I should do a TikTok series yeah. where I review this, 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 that, this, There's and that. a constant like. It's like, yeah, like, and, and then I have to, oh, oh my God. Sorry, I'm going on a tangent. Yeah. I have to constantly think about how I appear to other people in public and like at parties and stuff. I'd be like, oh, like, am I, did I say something weird? Or like, I always overthink because people always like, if they don't like you from like watching your content, you're like, I don't know if I like this person. They meet you in person, you say something wrong. Like, I knew I didn't like this person. They're weird. <laughs> so yeah, it's like. It's horrible for your self-esteem. And it's a completely unnatural way to, to live your life. And yeah. I think that there are some people that, I'm gonna I'm gonna call them uh, sociopathic narcissists, slightly. That are like I don't care what other people think. I love myself, and that's great. And I'm just gonna do this for me. And I think there's like maybe two people like that out there. Yeah, exactly. The mm -hmm. rest of the people are like I don't care. I don't care what people say about me. I'm fine. Like I don't think about it. Yes, you mm -hmm. do. You mm -hmm. think about it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's all you think about, and it drives you insane. Literally, and it's <laughs> bad for you. Ah! We should just go back. Ah! Like ah! we used to forage for nuts. And berries, <laughs> and we used to kill each other. We felt insecure about ourselves. We weren't like, maybe I should post a picture of myself that I facetuned. No, we just killed that other person to feel more secure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 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 what we're what, that's what we need. That's what we're built for. That's what instead we're built of feeling for. insecure about my unfacetuned filter, I'm just gonna kill Will, and I'll feel better. Every episode, I talk about murdering you. Yeah, Aww. no, it's lit. I love it. But yeah. We're so best friends. We're today. so blessed. Best friends. We're so today. blessed. <laughs> blessed friends. Today. We're blessed Amen. Friends today. Uh, okay, let's lighten things up a little Yeah, a sorry. Time. Yeah. No, no, it's the I kinda asked the question and I just get <clears throat> What inspired this series of questions? Hmm? Series of questions. I don't One question. One. What inspired this? I was that on question? um I was thinking about our guest and I was like, Oh, like You're thinking about me? Because it was my birthday? Happy birthday Oh, the Skylar White singing. Okay, Wait, Skylar harmonize. White. Happy birthday. Wait, how do you hear it harmonize? <laughs> okay, you start, you start, you start. Happy birthday to you. Happy Happy we can't have this. this it was so, so it, it was close. We were close. All right, so reincarnation exists, but, what? okay. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically, reincarnation exists. Yeah. But. I don't like that. That makes me sad. Continue. No, but every time you die, you are reborn as like a new animal that you haven't been yet. And it just kind of cycles through all of the different animals of. Um, yeah. I think I'd continuously kill myself. Like if I knew that, I would just keep killing well, myself. Well, but the thing is like. 
That would be life. But you Only, wouldn't have your memory. Yeah, right you here. wouldn't really oh, know. Shit. You would experience, like, you're not going to be like a suicidal frog. Who I am right now will no longer exist, right? No, yeah. And and, and so I'll be I'll be gone. You'll be chill. Like, Lobotomy. if you're a dog, you're, you're entirely, you're going to be like wagging your tail you and eating your poop. you have the brain of a dog. Poop. Yeah. And you don't have your previous memories. So I'm, no. so I'm just dead. But reincarnation is, is just... Well, but you get to experience. Okay, let's say like my personality as a dog, like who I am <laughs> as a dog. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you think about it, <laughs> like how would you have your? You wouldn't even know. Like, what if we're living that life right now? We don't even know. Because like I'm looking at things right now. Like, what if like we're also a dog right now and we what? Didn't know? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, me, I, I have that thought process I, where I'm like, what happens if I'm actually in a coma or I've had a lobotomy? And yeah. This is all an illusion? And I am a dog right now. What am I doing in my dog life? Like, do I have mm. a dog life? This is like, a dream. I personally think I'd be a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> because kitties Real. are cute and... Real. And they just live their life. Or is a mermaid an animal? No, that's not that. <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's not real. Oh. Unless well, they used to exist. Enough. They went extinct. What kind of dog would you be? Like, what's... what what A beagle. Ew. A beagle, <laughs> a beagle. I, I feel like you'd be like a like a lab or like Aww. a golden yeah, retriever. Yeah, you'd be a golden retriever. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, because I'll, I'll, you are always so smiling, and like hee hee hee. I'll take that. I'm cool with that. Yeah. yeah, but when but when golden retrievers get sad, everyone gets sad. It's like mm. oh fuck. The golden retriever is sad. That when a golden because a, a golden retriever is always happy. That's like the light of life. They can do no wrong. They're so happy. But when they get upset, it's like. Yeah, like, the, damn, the world is crumbling. Him. The world is crumbling down. Imagine if a dog gained full sentience and then just understood how horrible humanity was. And just was <laughs> what do you think? That no, dog it's like the do? dog with the buttons. The bunny, sad. Oh, and then they look yeah. in the mirror like, who is bunny? Oh, I <laughs> hate that, that shit. The poodle, bunny. Yeah. First of all, fuck it's, you it's for like getting a, a poodle. Fuck you for naming it bunny. But why would you give it the ability to very, very, do very basic rationale and yeah. logic and reasoning and then it yeah. learned like who it's... bunny is who this in the mirror what yeah am. and then it's like bunny <sighs> they can't see themselves ants can ants have sentience they they recognize their so themselves ants? In yeah how do you know this you ever put an ant in front of a mirror i eat ants <laughs> i was thinking about getting an ant I've farm you know eat? you get like an ant farm like the disney show and then you like put ants in it and then they dig tunnels what kind do, of lonely what kind of do, loneliness do, it's fun do you need do, do. you never had an ant farm do, no do. one time they're in the target se dollar section and i've got one and it was fun you and it's like, it was fun it's like colorful gel and then they like make little homes. you can't feel it you know the i, I feel like i feel like having certain pets like a lizard or a frog <gasps> or like the ugly hamsters is indicative of an antisocial personality. Oh, you know what I mean? Well, well, if you had any of those, I'm just kidding. But, but like, whenever I was in the elementary school, like kids that had like dogs and cats and normal animals, they were they were cool yeah. and they were like nice and they didn't look like they were gonna kill people. But then there were like weirdos that had like frogs and shit. And I I'm was like, bullied in school. <laughs> we didn't have school shooters yet, but had we, I would have been like, I was bullied in school and I had two birds. You had two I never birds. thought about birds. I had a friend. I, my best friend had a bird who was annoying as fuck, and, yeah, and then it flew annoying. away, and he was really sad. Oh. And I was like, "Bro, like you can sleep at night now, like yeah, yeah." Lighten up. But That's birds like are really, really annoying. Birds are really smart, and then having them fly away, and then oh. be like, "Oh, thank God." I hate when my girlfriend flies away. <laughs> um, I caught a lizard yesterday. You caught one? Yeah, it was outside of my house, and I caught it. And then it's, but its tail fell off in the process, and I felt really, really bad. But apparently, they grow back. Yeah, they do that as like a defense mechanism. But were you like in like a hunting mode? Like, huh? well, he was like chilling there. I'm like, is it dead? <laughs> Why isn't it moving? And then I touched it, and I went, -da 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 -da. and I was like, I'm gonna catch it. And like Sammy was there too, and I'm like, let's catch it, let's catch it. And then we caught it, and then we put it in this glass jar, and we like looked at it. But then I was getting really stressed out. Didn't you bring it? No, I let wait. It go. Let, yeah, you did. Let me bring it. Let me get oh, it. Oh yeah, go get the lizard. It was your birthday. It was. We went to Applebee's. How do you feel about birthdays? Um, they remind me of a traumatic time in my life. So I drink usually. So I'm like, this is fun. I love it. Cause it kind of they kind of stress me out. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. My lizard friend. His tail grew back. Ew. Bro. Ew. Why is it wet? Wait. What the fuck? Why is it slime? Why is it wet? Sorry guys. For our audio listeners, I have a lizard. Oh, it's one of the growing ones. 
and its tail is so long. <laughs> Why is it so ugly? Ew. Let's talk about something else. Let me put this in this bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For later. For later. Let's talk about something else. For later. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> well, my <laughs> I guess scary. my whole question is like... <laughs> It was scary. What would be the like Worthy? like would you if you had the choice for that to be like the afterlife, would you? Like being reincarnated as a bunch of different animals. No, I think I, I just want to be gone. I just want to be gone. Like really? going to, like going to bed. Like I just Bro, want to be gone. You don't want to be a fucking like anteater? I'm tired. I'm so tired. Imagine how but lit you being be tired an in your next be. life. They are really funny looking. If all okay. I, all I was programmed to do was eat ants, maybe I would enjoy life. But Bro, I think I'm just tired. That's like if a bunch of fucking like in and out burgers were just like running across the floor in and, out and i was always hungry for in and out and i was just like yummy but all right <laughs> isn't that how we live our life right now because like we're always so like what are we gonna eat next true. no but it's not but then we I'm have to like get like, in our damn, car I gotta pick and we up have to KFC. Our, yeah <laughs> but well, we have to like take out our debit card and we have to be like oh like we have to live in society do i pay yeah. do i have to pay my mortgage tomorrow and you, then you like, know what if you went to KFC and you just went behind the counter and just like picked up chicken, and, like, just <laughs> made eye contact with the cashier and left, picked up chicken and just drove away, nothing would happen. Nothing would happen. Nothing would probably happen. You probably you get could go, You could do that in every it. KFC in the country. Yeah, you could do that, and and, and I, go down in history as like the chicken robber. This is this is the mm. crime and punishment. You know what that book's about? Probably no. some punishments and crimes. <laughs> a guy murders someone oh. and then kind of gets away with it. And he realizes that like morality doesn't necessarily exist because there's no punishment for his crime. So no one would punish me for going and stealing KFC chicken. So then morality <laughs> doesn't really exist. It only exists in my mind. Unless you're an anteater. It, what? You eat the ants. <laughs> what? <laughs> it wouldn't exist for the anteater because he doesn't care about the ants' feelings. Well, ants don't have feelings. We don't care about ants' feelings. But we care about dogs' feelings. This is a man that stomps on anthills. Ants <gasps> are seek vengeance. They almost killed my friend's dog. They're fucking ruthless. Wow. What do you mean they almost killed your friend's dog? Like they Like the ant bit the dog and the dog was like really, really tiny. And so the and the dog had really, <laughs> One ant? Yeah, one ant bit the dog like on, on the eye. And this dog did not have any will to live. It's like I'll show you a picture of the dog. It's, it's like you reincarnated it is as a the, dog. It is the ugliest dog I've ever seen. It's and like I, you reincarnated. So as a dog. why would I'll you show say you. that yeah. she's ugly? Huh? So you're calling her ugly? No, I was just just it's That's hypothetical hella nonsense. Up. Hypothetical nonsense. Oh yeah, yeah. My Put bad. your hand down. My stomach hurts. <laughs> can we can we go into another question? Yeah. Please, please, yeah. please, 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 please. Oh, I just deleted hurts. all of my notes off my notes app on my phone. How'd you do that? It's okay. I've recently deleted. Um <clears throat> okay, Santa is real in this hypothetical. Okay. White? Is he white? Santa is white and real and large. Mm -hmm. Like prob actually, mm, yeah, he's large. And um you find out that like he's like a creep and a weirdo. Oh, well, like a I feel like he would yeah. be a creep because he is sneaks into people's houses if he was real. <laughs> he he knows when you're asleep, he knows when you're awake. He has a list of every single child in existence. It's like that yeah, song he really that's like children, huh? The song that's like, he's climbing your windows, he's snatching your people up. Remember that? Snatching our people up? You don't remember Hadja that song? Hadja, what, that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, kids. really? And Hadja husband, cuz. I'm not going to say the rest, but. I don't even remember. Oh. oh. I was obsessed with I that. I would love to have a, a finding, Leaving Neverland. That was the documentary about Michael Jackson being a <laughs> um, But that about Santa Claus. I don't even know that, that much funny. about Michael Jackson. I didn't even know that until just now. Did you know that Michael? Well, Michael Jackson is not legally confirmed to be a <laughs> But if you've seen that documentary, you, you would, you would, I mean, you would, you would think twice about listening to Off the Wall. The only Michael, I watched the Michael Jackson documentary where he was like, after he died, where it's like a conspiracy that he was, he's still alive. And in his song, <gasps> it said that he's coming back in 2012. <laughs> it says that the in his zodiac <laughs> calendar. The world is gonna end in 2012, no, and Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson will be resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was Michael Jackson's scared. gonna come back the day before the Earth. I ends. thought he was a woman when I was younger, because yeah. I had seen Michael Jackson like the Jackson Five when he was a kid, and I had seen him um, on like album art, like on off the wall, and I was like, that's what Michael Jackson looks like. And then I would see pictures of Michael Jackson recently with, when he was white and looked like a woman, and I was like, is that who is that? Who is that? Yeah. Madonna? Who is that? I remember, I don't know. I just remember like, 
when Michael Jackson died, it was like th- my entire life was uprooted and flipped upside down. And I have no idea why. Like, I didn't even like listen. But like, I just remember seeing it on the news and be like, no, what? <laughs> Fuck! And I like didn't even know any of his songs. <laughs> That's interesting. And but I remember it was like a huge deal. And he was the king of the pop. Yeah. He, he I think is one of the greatest musicians alive. Michael Jackson. Alive. Billy Joel. Is he one of well, the greatest musicians shut up. alive? Michael Jackson yeah, was alive at one point. Billy Joel, Paul McCartney. Yeah. Well. What about Yeet? <laughs> what about? Isn't Chief, that a verb? What about Baby Chief Keem? Keem? <laughs> what about Baby Keem? <laughs> Ice cream booger yeah, covered well, piss sub zero. I'll tell you what, I owned a Guinness Book of World <laughs> Records, and Michael Jackson and Katy Perry, I love her, were the only two people, like male and female, who had like hit songs from one album, like the record of hit songs from one album. Because Katy Perry, Teenage Dream, she had so many hit songs on that. Oh, really? Oh, like the amount of. Oh, hot and yeah. cold. Songs. No, that was on Teenage Dream. It was yeah, Teenage Will. Dream. Last Friday night, yeah. California Girls, mm-hmm. Ooh. the one that got away. Oh, what? Wow. On one album. What do you think that They're, was? E.T. E.T. I, do you think that her music is actually good, or do you think that we were living in a time where they could just pump her music out everywhere, and so you had to listen to it, I and think, that's what made it popular? I think that I'm a Katy Perry stan. So I okay, think, I can't ask this of you. I think that her music's actually good, and I think that that was my bio awakening. That was your bio yeah, awakening? Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah. That was her But I didn't realize that. I was like, what am I feeling? What is this? I'm obsessed with Katy Perry. I have to put posters of her everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, maybe I was a little fruit. Yeah, <laughs> a little fruity. <laughs> maybe a I was. Little, That's how I felt fruit. about Cherry Kristen chapstick. You know? Did you mean like a little, like you are a little fruit? Like I was a, a little like fruit, a but now I'm a grown fruit. Now you're, you're big and fruity. Yep. Uh, did you have by anger where I would see a couple and I'd be like, I fucking hate her. And it's because I was attracted to her yes. and I didn't understand. So yeah. that's how I felt about Bella or and It wasn't like anger. <laughs> it was like jealousy. Like I'd be like, damn, like I want to be I her. I can't believe she's so yeah pretty. Yeah. Oh. It's like, I want to be her in her. We, I want to <laughs> be this woman. I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. But that's, that's why, why I, I dyed my hair blonde. The... What? Because I'm attracted to to blonde girls so now i have blonde hair because i'm like oh i'm attracted to this i could be this too interesting i think if i saw a me looking person on the street i'd be like woof. you ever look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror and you're like like woof or like woof because one of my one of my really good friends this is this is like too much information but one of my really good friends we've been friends since high school and i've never found him attracted attractive i never found him attractive but everyone else did and mm-hmm. um we 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 did engage in relations together and i was like i'm doing this because i i don't find you attractive so i'm like okay doing this because it's not whatever yeah and then i realized he looks exactly like me and i was like damn that's why i don't find him attractive because he looks like me oh i'm like you ugly jew looking person okay <laughs> I was like, all right a, so like a bird santa i understand real. i understand <laughs> oh. in this hypothetical santa is real yeah and um <laughs> You find out that he's a creep, like he's a complete weirdo. Yeah. But you are the only one who, who knows. knows. Then <laughs> not to convince. Do do no, other people no. know that you Sam have, is real? You ha- everyone. You know what Sam I would real. do? Well, no, wait, because you have the evidence to com- like you have solid you have evidence. Santa's Polaroids of him with <gasps> naked children. Okay. You have. Oh my Santa's god. Santa's Polaroids of him be doing. You have but, text messages. You have emails. Okay. You have but, like confirmed. But things. people think Santa isn't real. No, people think Santa's real. But some everyone, people funnier, everyone knows Santa. It was real. funnier if Santa wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Santa's real and he was. <laughs> well, there's Santas in the mall. Oh, yeah. See that. What about the Santas in the mall then? Would it all be Santa, or would it be no Santas? In the it mall? would. It would be like he's on tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it the would. The Ticketmaster sales would yeah, sell Yeah, he's out never instantly. in more than one mall in America at the same. Like all of December, he's booked up. Like. You know, he's booked. He, he, he goes ass. on Twitter and he he puts uh, Taylor Swift on blast. He's like, I don't. My CO two emissions are nothing because I use fucking reindeer, bitch. What's your excuse? <laughs> That's real. Santa on Twitter is really funny. I think that having to convince people Santa was real and that he was a is the funniest thing ever. Oh, no, <laughs> because man. you would people would be like, you're crazy. <laughs> you're actually crazy. But what if you had the evidence? It would be like I would love I would love to see. Like a Jeffrey Epstein kind of like um, <laughs> deposition of Santa Claus, where they're like, "So Santa it says here that you have an egg-shaped penis," and he goes, "I'm being told by my lawyer I need to plead the fifth." 
I feel like so much of this podcast is not usable. What do you right mean now. it's not usable? It's fine. Are we allowed to talk about say the word p- on a podcast? Can you say egg shaped penis? It's anatomy. Pe- I can say egg shaped penis. <laughs> yeah, but you're yes, the you one can. who said the, the <laughs> thing. Well, no, it's just because it's it's funny. It's, yeah, no. You said, what? what if Santa's real? I and said he was a no. I said he was a weirdo. I said I said okay, he just you know that translates. I don't want to. Okay, you don't have to say it. I'm okay. We don't need to say it anymore. Let's just say creep. We can say creep. Let's say creep and weirdo. We have to. It's like whoa. It's like Voldemort. You know what I mean? Where you have to say his name so that he doesn't have power over you. Say the N word. But, (laughs) but, but. Say the N word. But, (laughs) but. We need to say it so it doesn't have power over. Well, that's not what I mean. Say it. No, but that's oh, not what I mean. Wait, th- it's that's the opposite of what I'm talking about, though. Wait, what do you mean? Because if if the if the like you don't say his name because he's scary. I didn't right? watch Harry Potter. Okay, well they don't say Voldemort because okay. Voldemort is like uh, I knew that is like Wizard Hitler, and they're like don't say his name, mm-hmm. and Wizard they're giving Hitler him more crazy. power power over them. That's oppressive, as opposed to the opposite where it's like. I'm saying the R word. It's like I'm I'm reclaiming it because it was a word that was used to oppress me, and now I'm using it to celebrate it. So it's the opposite uh, dynamic. You fucking. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna call. <laughs> you were gonna call me the N word. No, I was uh, not. I saw it in your face. I saw it in your eyes. I didn't see it. Okay. No R word. We're just we're just. I'm just trying to get back on at you for trying to set me up in the first episode. For what? Or no, that was that was mostly. I think that was Sammy. Never mind. <laughs> That was yeah. Um, Let's move on. Santa, no, we're not. You know what? That, no, no one's even the, let me to, to the question. Say my okay. Yeah. Santa is real, and he's a weirdo. He's a creep. He's sus. <laughs> okay. Mm. He um, and you have all of the evidence to expose him, but like he, everyone knows that he's real, but they love him. You know, he's Santa Claus. Like, he, like you have the opportunity to ruin Christmas for everyone. <gasps> I would, I would ruin Christmas because for everyone, yeah, because we need justice for the kids that are being creeped on. Well, let's say true. It, mm. Also, who cares? If, who cares? What Christmas, if it's not a Christmas? Kid? Sucks. All right, I don't like Christmas. Yeah. You spend a bunch of money. Mm-hmm. It's it, in what Michigan. What if he beat his wife? Who That's cares? Even more, the reason I mean, to cancel it. Why? I'm just. I'm just. Can, hashtag I'm just curious Santa. if it's like specifically because it. Santa was the kids. is over party. I think that first of all, even if you exposed him, people would still enjoy Christmas and people would still love Santa Claus because it's just like Michael Jackson where I'm not going to not listen to Thriller because he diddled a bunch of kids. It's a great song. Sorry that's inappropriate, but that's the truth, right? We have to be realistic here. You now, know what? I would make an HBO documentary about it, like exposing Santa Claus and then like start my career as a filmmaker and that that would be it. Yeah. That's what I would do. That's If I had all the evidence, I would go to HBO immediately and I'd be like, "Guys, I have a real bomb. But what if they here. thought that you were being schizo? No, because I have no, the we have, I have the text messages and the pictures. And then the I'd be pictures. on the Oprah. You just can like have it, all thing. the evidence and people will still be like, This is Photoshop. Yeah, do you think there would be a conspiracy where they're like, yeah, we have to be. they can't we we can't let them know that Santa Claus because they've been covering up for years. Mm. This is a conspiracy. The government knows Santa Claus diddle kids, and so they're just Who like said if, that he diddled right, kids. Not diddling that kids. He was he's a creep, he's a weirdo, and they've been hiding. Let's say let's just say he beat his wife. He beats his wife. Then that's messed I'm up. I'm about to say some based and red pill things that w- I, we can't have on this podcast. Wife, <laughs> if he beats his wife, then his wife should take it to court. Yeah, because then, then it's on Mrs. Claus to get her shit together. Yeah, we would have <laughs> to. We would have to damn. encourage Mrs. Claus to take it oh to the God. legal. Oh my God! But where they live is Antarctica. They don't have laws there. Yeah. Does he live in Antarctica? The North Pole. The nor- he lives in no, the that's, North Pole. That's different. That's South Pole. The, the South Pole is. North, there's nothing in the North Pole, is there? Yes, there is. There's like there's like an Arctic. So like ice Greenland. It's very yeah. It's, it's a, like it's very. It's not a continent. Yeah, it's a. Wait, how come the South Pole is a continent but not the North Pole? Because Antarctica is south. Antarctica. Yeah. There's the Arctic, and then there's Antarctica. So. But Antarctica is a landmass. Yeah, and the and Ar- uh, the Arctic is just it's just ocean up there. Is that true? There's there's land up there, and they have summer and they have winter. Whereas the South Pole, it's always. Winter. Are you sure they have land? What if it's just ocean, I mean, but it's so frozen over that like it's just ice? I'm pretty sure there's land because I've seen like national because you have yeah, like Arctic warming. foxes. Wouldn't and that shit. be a continent then, though? I don't know, buddy. I don't know anything. I don't yeah. know why I'm here. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> <laughs> why are you shitting? 
Okay, so you would f- final answer is would you ruin Christmas? Yeah. You would ruin Christmas. Fuck Christmas. I mean, yeah. I mean, screw Christmas. I would be like, <laughs> now I would ever have to shine. Dude, because you know what would happen? Then the, a lot of people on Twitter would be like, cancel Christmas, and they would be like super anti Santa Claus, and then there would be people that'd be like, those fucking liberals don't want to celebrate Christmas anymore because you don't have kids. <laughs> Fuck them. I love Christmas. These, these damn then, liberals say happy holidays, not Merry Christmas. <laughs> exactly. So then I'm going to be like, okay liberals on twitter let's do hanukkah let's like they'd be like i was about to say Christmas. what if, let's do hanukkah what if like there was a new like hanukkah guy or woman mm-hmm. who like was a mascot okay of, how of do hanukkah. we make hanukkah more appealing do we get like a santa Claus i think figure? you need a mask like a sexy no. like a sexy <laughs> hanukkah fairy the only reason <laughs> the only no reason fairy. that christmas is appealing is because like materialism because yeah, consumer you think of it this way like at, i only just learned this at the end of the year all these companies want to spend a bunch of money and then yeah. christmas is a thing because of the tax write-offs and they need to like meet their quota of spending money so they can yeah write it off for the next year it's still beautiful though that that yeah. aspect of consumerism is really hard to, to stomach because it does make your childhood like better christmas is something that's special it's special yeah. for bad reasons yeah. but it is and special. also like if if there wasn't christmas like winter would be so much more sad like yeah, there would you be need nothing to, to look like it's just something. cold and i think you're like we're from the north mm-hmm. and well you're also were in the north area He's in the i was wet in the part. north but like the wet part yeah, yeah instead but of the snowy part. it was yeah. like like Sorry. i had bad seasonal depression so in the winter like i would be like dark all the time mm-hmm. like there's yeah. like a couple hours of sunlight then it's dark and then yeah. i just like hated my life and then it's like oh i still have to buy people presents mm. well but <laughs> you know i don't know I mean? there's something company when it's like dark outside it's sad but then you hear the weather outside, i love that shit and you're like okay I like don't. maybe it's not so bad time in here. yeah that's and my then, favorite kind uh-huh. of music too i listen to that fucking music so I, I get it. You I, see, like Frosty the Snowman. Christmas time in New York is also really yeah. something that's special because the lights that are that great. Pretty. But mm. I think that if we were to move on, it would be kind of cool if we had. We don't have like violent holidays, like <laughs> <laughs> you know how they have like the, the purge? purge. Yeah, I was gonna say, could we do something like that where like for a holiday, violent everyone holidays. just like beats the fuck out of each other, and it's like. But it, then people get shot. Yeah. But that's, that's for them to just... Yeah. No, you'd have rules. It would be like, oh, only pussies shoot or bring knives that's, to the holiday. Which is the real just in pussy. general. Right? They're so now there's a holiday the around time. beating the shit out of each other. So not the purge where it's would like there are no work? laws. Would we come into work and beat the shit out of each no, other? No, it would be like a Jewish holiday where it's like, that's not a real holiday. And be like, yes, it is. Look in the book. And then leave. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you would like... Everyone would come together and there would be like music made for the special occasion. We would write the music. Oh my God, this is a really great idea. We make our own holiday. We make the music surrounding the holiday. And then um, uh, and then the tradition would be like festival. There's a big festival. Everyone comes together and everyone just beats the shit out of each other. And whoever but they have to wins, sign a waiver. Yeah, you have to sign a waiver. Uh, no killing. You're not allowed to kill. No well, knives, no guns. It's just yeah. it's just fists. And you have to be in like a Then how do you know when to stop? Safe words. Safe words? And could you, do you choose who you beat up? Because like, if there's this like seven foot giant who just going around just like, just kicking the shit out of there would be weight classes. Yeah, I'm sure would it would it be, be split by it like. It would be similar to like the MMA rules. Mm-hmm. And like not normal civilians, if they want to do it, they can. But like really fighters would be doing that. This is a fighting holiday. And so like people would be training. So it's for just this. like, it's just like an MMM day. Yeah, it's MMM, like MMA games, day. But without killing people. MMM. Yeah. MMM. MMM day. <laughs> yeah, I think a violent holiday would be cool just to let some stress out just to like yeah. you, th- you think it would be the next day would be a lot more peaceful yeah everyone would have gotten out their aggression and then there yeah. would be like a bunch of conversations about like the the morality of this holiday and then people would be thinking like more about what they're doing and how they choose to express their anger and it would open up the conversation to finding better ways to express your anger like painting or singing or masturbating or whatever it is that you do to get rid of your anger <laughs> yeah so painting, that would be great and, and ma- <laughs> painting and mastery well that, that's that's a personal choice what i do to get rid of my anger is i hop on twitch do you really? <laughs> and I just start like I was like so like you stream or you like co- comment. No, I yeah, stream. Fingers. I was so angry oh. the other day that I hopped on Instagram Live and I just started being like, guys, I don't feel like I fit in. And then I just started talking. And everyone's like, don't care about what people think. And I'm like, I don't feel like. Not I don't care what other people feel. <laughs> I, feel I don't I hate feel. myself. Yeah. Real. <laughs> so That's what real. I'm saying. There is no information about how to not hate yourself because I look up like, how do you not hate yourself? And they're like, don't care what other people think. I don't. I know, like, bro. Not that's, not, that's not the case right now. Yeah, yeah, Can't yeah. Turn. I thought you were gonna ask me that question. I I can. I, I Why are you, you laughing were? at me? This is this is not gonna be helpful for the audio listeners. But can you just turn and show the camera the back of your head? The back of my head. 
What's wrong with What's the back wrong? of my head? That it's like sloped. Is it, is that leaning up against this? <laughs> yeah. She's just got a funny head shape. It's like, <laughs> Fuck you. No, it's only when the hair. Anyways, continue. You just got a funny head shape. No, you don't. <laughs> you, this is your your um, hair shape. Let's say, okay, next hypothetical. We're in the woods, right? We're camping in the woods right now. Like, this is what's uh, happening. Are you yeah. scared already? Yeah, yeah, why are I you am. scared? I actually went camping a lot growing up, so I don't know why oh. I'm scared. Well, there's bears everywhere in this hypothetical and in real life. Let's say, like, it's the three of us camping. We're here for, like, one more night. Okay. And I'm you venture off alone to go find a good place to poop in, on the floor. And <laughs> and you um, find, like, a treasure chest oh. <laughs> okay. full of $300,000 cash. Do you tell us? Do you, like, would you tell us? Would you share would you just like kind of keep quiet about it and come back later? Three hundred thousand. That means we each get a hundred thousand. Oh, if sharing we split it, it. I oh. wouldn't share it with you. I would tell you if we could make a business together. I'd be like, guys, <laughs> we have to find a way to make this three hundred thousand dollars for a million dollars. But if I knew that we couldn't make a business together, I well, what do you think? I wouldn't fucking tell you. Would you think we could make a business? together? Do you think we could make a business together? We could because mm-hmm. we could make a. A holiday? No. A violent holiday? <laughs> a violent holiday? No, because as we, a business, I think that yeah, bro, boxing <laughs> gloves Dude, stock. I, of, I, uh, I think <laughs> that making a holiday, like creating a holiday, that would be a first of all, that would be a fun video. It would be a fun thing to organize, right? That would and be then a fun would, video. You could make music surrounding it. And you could get like, uh, you can make like, um, stories like of lore about it, like how like, like Christmas books, like Christmas books. You know what's really interesting though? A lot of holidays. Or a couple of holidays, Mm -hmm. maybe two holidays, have like such specific genres of music that I don't like. Like what what genre of music is Christmas music? Well, the reason why Christmas music um, music. is still like Christmas music from the 30s and 40s is still relevant is because during the 30s, sorry, in the 40s and 50s, um, you would have songwriters and then you would have singers and they would all the singers would just redo the same song. Everyone would be singing the same song. And that's Why? when they made a shit ton of, because it was just easier that way to make oh, music. Yeah. And so they would make Christmas music. And now people don't make Christmas music. All The majority of Christmas music that was written, written by Jews, was in the 40s and 50s. So that's why we listen to it now. And that's why we think of like old music as Christmas sounding music. What about Mariah Carey? So is Christmas music just like 30s and 40s pop? Yeah, it's their version of pop. Yeah, it's their version of pop. I really like, appreciate how educated you are on the topic. I'm not educated. I just listen to this music and I have no oh. idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you like Christmas music? I love the Christmas music. Would but you it's more, hear it's more because the... it's nostalgic. I don't. Okay. I think it's literally just like when I think when I hear Frosty the Snowman, I think of like when I was 12 and like I would I was on on santatracker.com oh. seeing how long yeah. until Santa like was in where I was. That's and the creep the the weirdo the yeah creep. i think i think With genuinely evidence I, I find three hundred thousand dollars i come here and i say we need to start our own holiday but first so you need bring to, it you bring it into the town this is what we should do we should lie about santa being a creep like we would just make up a fake conspiracy about him being a <laughs> or whatever is this is. in real life or is this still where everyone thinks that he's real this is in real life this okay. is what we do okay. now as our plan and then That's together we are like okay Christmas canceled, boo, because Santa is canceled because he beats his wife or whatever he does. Mm-hmm. And we make our own holiday. That's what we should be doing. This is a genuine so idea. So we have to take we down should... Christmas in order to make our own holiday? Yeah. Can yeah. we do that? We need to destroy So would Christmas. it be around the same time? BFTV, BFTV episode five. <laughs> BFTV episode six. Okay. Seven. We're going to take our time to think about this one. Yeah. I like that idea a lot destroying christmas and making our own holiday i like the idea and we, we, and we have like blueprints and we have like plans and like it's like very yeah, yeah. i love the idea of it being like starting out as an expose documentary mm-hmm. about this <laughs> and then which is santa claus it's and we can creep. just ai like fake yeah. all the pictures <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then just go into making our santa own claus line. mugshot generated by <laughs> dolly chat <gasps> that would be awesome that would be awesome so you would that. you would bring it in and you'd be like let's le- let's start a business if you if we were camping and you brought three hundred thousand dollars cash into the tent and said that we need to make a holiday, I would think that you're crazy. <laughs> Realistically, <laughs> we wouldn't make a like, holiday. We would just make a regular business. Oh, okay. Three hundred thousand dollars, like you can get like a nice camper with that. Like you can't really get a lot with that these days. Yeah, you really can. really. Yeah. You can buy a subway that will not a be nice profitable. camper. Like a you know like the camper like wait what do you mean you you can buy a subway you can buy a okay. 
This is something reckless. You mean the restaurant? Fucking do. Yeah, you okay, can buy yeah. a chain oh. restaurant for like some a I ridiculous thought you meant like like, a like open a franchise. Open a franchise <laughs> for like a ridiculously low amount of money. And it's the, probably the least profitable chain that you can you can get. <laughs> yeah. But they don't tell you. And that. it would take you like ten years to break even. Oh yeah. And yeah, you yeah. would be like working your ass open off. Open up like, other subways next to you. Like that that's their business they do? model. Yeah. You'll like you'll open up one like here and then they'll be like, Well, oh. our business model is just to have a shit ton of subways. And so we'll <laughs> open up one across the street. The difference is, is that we would have the three hundred thousand dollars not only to get the chain, but to invest in marketing. Our subway is special for some reason. We make the we um, we hire guests. Well, are we even allowed to appearances. do that? Like, don't we have to follow? Like, they can a... sue me. Okay, <laughs> then you lose everything. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what do you if mean? If we were profitable, I'd be like, Your Honor, can you blame a guy for? <laughs> 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 Look all the bread. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Subway You're suing bread. me. Regular bread. Yoga mat bread. You know, isn't it? I saw a rumor on Twitter that. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't Twitter. I think it was like on iFunny in like 2012. Subway bread. That Subway bread is so has so much sugar in it. It's yoga mat. Considered cake. Yeah, you can't call it. They can't call it bread. They can't call it bread. It's yoga, okay. yoga mat bread. Yoga what does mat that mean? Bread. They have chemicals that are in yoga mats. I need a yoga mat. Is there yeast in yoga mats? Mm, maybe edible yoga mats. That's that's, oh, that's our business. No. <laughs> that's our three hundred thousand dollar business. <laughs> you just get all sweaty on it and then eat. So what would you do, Adrian? I um I would buy a house. So you would you would you would for all property. of us to live in. Yeah, you'd invest in property. Mm. That's brilliant. So you <laughs> would so would you tell us or not tell us about the money? Well I would buy a house and I'd be like, guys, guess what? I got a house and all of our names are on it. What? <laughs> Sick. Thank you. So you'd do it in secret and then be like, hey guys, surprise. Yeah. We have a house together. Yeah. It'd be like just a surprise out of the goodness of my What are we going to do with the house? Because well, it, it would become a content house. Like, honestly, it, it, that's would. What would, happen with it would. Where would you buy the house? Somewhere like Austin because everyone's living in. Everyone's we could moving not buy to a Austin. nice house in, for $300,000. Well, maybe in, in north of Austin. Yeah, it would be like outside of Austin. Because but then that's just like what you're doing. But everyone's moving here right now. Yeah. yeah. Austin so is things growing. are going up. Things are going up, which is weird. It's like, growing in a cancerous way. Have yeah. you noticed that people don't know how to drive here? They're like, um, what the fuck is you a You don't know signal? how to drive here. I don't know you how to. You just no, got no, your no, license. No. I know how to drive in a way that is reckless, but it, it's like curt curt courteous to courteous. other people. because No, I, you almost killed me. That's different. <laughs> you that's almost different. killed yeah, us. I, I, I knew I we were safe. Th I knew it is we were different. safe. Okay. It, the roads are different here and people don't know. It's like, I feel like we didn't take the same driver's test. We yeah. didn't take And I took the either. Texas one too. Yeah. And I just, it's like, I didn't. Did you have to parallel park? I'm so good at parallel park. I used to live me in the too, city. Me too, actually. Yeah. I but used did to have, you have to for your test? Me as well. Yeah, I did, actually. I used to live in the city and I used to have a 2002 Ford F 150, four doors. So it was really whoa, long. Whoa, F whoa, so I had to whoa, go, you have to go. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, so you were like, like goaded. I am goaded. But I can't back in. Like I can't back in park because okay. mm. I never really had to, but Wait, I've had to parallel. I've never How tried. do you parallel park not backing in? Wait, like you don't go like no, no like into like a parking spot. Like if I have like, to back into a parking spot, I can't do that. I I can if I try hard enough. Interesting. But I don't I've like never doing tried. it. Because why do I need to back in? Yeah, like just pull in. Like I'm not trying to show off my car. Like, like whoa, <laughs> I can do that. Interesting. You've backed mm. into parking spaces. Yeah. Well, you have a backup camera. Uh, uh, yeah, no, do. I don't use it. I, well, oh, really? I started to now because I'm like, fuck it. Why am I making it harder for myself? But I was like, I'm going to be disciplined and not use this camera. Yeah. So I would use this. Also, you can't yeah. really use the camera when you're doing that maneuver because you will uh, break other vehicles. Oh. Really? Yeah. Doesn't Don't Teslas have like an auto park? Like you could like park some park it. <laughs> what I if don't... you got $300,000 and you just bought the most useless thing ever and you were like, guys, I got it for us. For, it's for us. <laughs> I got us a Tesla. An old, like a, a 10 year old Tesla. <laughs> you just said it was the like useless, five of useless them. thing ever. Like five. Five old Tesla. Old Tesla. Tesla. Car. Because that either way, it's like, five years. if I brought the money in here, it'd be like a gift because I found it and I'd be giving it to you guys out of the goodness of my heart. But so if I bought a house, it'd still be a gift. Same value. It's just an investment. Maybe, maybe it would it's grow. Just, it's a gift, except it's like, yeah. Um, I have a question. It's less. It's like when your grandma, like, instead of just like, actually, my grandma started like cash apping me for my birthday. Hell yeah. Instead, of, and I'm like, yes, thank you. Like, I know it's not as like meaningful, like to like some people, but like it's just like, 
like I like I, it's a better than you know like something that you think that I want you know but yeah. Yeah. but you're like 80 years old she didn't know anything like uh-huh. what do you know about what I want right <laughs> sorry that Damn. was foul but true <laughs> sorry well, grandma I love you grandma and also I would love anything that you got me for Christmas if you're listening to this grandma my my grandpa and grandpa they, I will know what I want they know that I want money <laughs> they've always known that but yeah. in fact they instilled it in me always want money so do they give you money um uh they give me what they oh, give you this year a triple a card that's she actually me, actually she put, that's in my, she put me in my that's AAA really program, valuable which was, i was just like <sighs> i want blessed. one of those but my question that. yeah do you have rage in general do you just have are you rage? okay i don't have rage <laughs> i a lot of the I questions don't have rage but right now as i'm sitting here i feel like an urge to just like scream and yell about something i don't know what it is what, we, we what should. angers you the most what makes you most uncomfortable um i think when people are purposefully making me upset and insecure and they have every right to do it and i have no right to tell them that they're wrong because they're right to do it who's doing this to you well it's been like this for ever yeah. Because I, I put myself in positions where I'm like, fuck you, I know better. And then I don't. And then they're like, you don't know better. And I'm like, damn. And that then makes you That makes you angry. Mm. Um, anyway, let's play a bucket game. Okay. All right. We're going to play Conjoin Hit Buzz. Oh, I like this game. You, you know Conjoin Hit Buzz? It's like Fuck, Mary Kill, except we're playing Fuck, Mary Kill, except instead of Fuck, Mary Kill, um, one of them you have to conjoin, you have to be a conjoined twin with, like okay. you wake up tomorrow and you're like conjoined twin with them. Mm-hmm. One of them you have to hit with a car and kill them, and um, like everyone knows that you hit and killed them, like you are on the news as like the person Am who I going did to jail it. For it. And it was a, you were drunk too. yes okay except you don't go to jail for it you somehow win the court case okay yeah and everyone hates you for it okay that's fine well if that's part of if that's just what yeah yeah okay fine and three you you are one you are this person's barber and you fuck up their hair so bad like you give like you end up like giving them a buzz cut on accident i I think buzz cuts are kind of sexy yeah, that's how you handle Y'all know it. nacho? <laughs> um, okay. You, you know what? I have all the time in the world to entertain a, a nacho Varga obsession. We'll talk about it another time then. It's all good, man. Number one. Yeah. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Okay. That's the guy from Fortnite first Battle Pass season one, right? Um. Yeah, that's what he's most famous for. <laughs> <laughs> he, what's his name in there? What's the skin name? John Wick. The John Wick skin. That's how you know the guy's sweaty yeah, he, and Fortnite. He's John Wick. Okay, John Wick. Steve Carell. Who's that? Steve Carell he, from The Office. From Michael. The, Michael Scott oh, from The yeah, Office. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll that's kill him. Okay. Okay. That's not even an option. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, Next I'll one. kill him with my and car. And Zendaya. Oh. Okay. Oh. So here's the thing. I want to hit Zendaya with the car because I can't be conjoined with her and I also don't want to fuck up her hair because I don't want to have to like talk to her so, and nothing against <laughs> so her. So you'd rather kill I, her? <laughs> well, no, because I, I pre- prefer to be uh, to talk to Keanu Reeves and Steve Carell. So, so, but I don't think I could like finesse my way out of um, the the heat I would get for killing her with my car because I feel like if it was a celebrity that we all hated, then it would be easy to be like, guys, I did us a favor. I yeah, did us no, a favor that's why I picked driving. all three that like are like universally loved. Like. Yeah, people like all of these celebrities. Um, I'd be I'd be conjoined twins with Keanu Reeves, and I'd totally fuck up Steve Carell's hair because if I fucked up his hair, he'd be like, whatever, I'm a dad, I don't give a shit. And if yeah. I was conjoined with uh, Keanu Reeves, I I don't know. It would just be like having a tumor. I don't think he does anything. Well, couldn't he like dodge the car because he does all the action film? Oh yes, he's John Wick. So he's and he's like sweaty in Fortnite. Do kill him <laughs> no, in you be kill him. Okay, okay. He dies. I would Rest kill peace, the guy from the Office because I think you the do- Office is cringe. Okay. What? Sorry, I mean, wrong actually, opinion. But really continue. Um, I don't really care that much. And I would be conjoined with Zendaya, then I can learn all the shake it up moves. <laughs> and then you could be there shake like while up. she's fucking Tom Holland. Okay, well, I don't think Tom Holland's all I that. Mean, but Tom Holland would have to like be okay with this. I'd be like this. I don't want to look. Yeah, because you guys are only conjoined by the shoulder. <laughs> Imagine you can join with Zendaya and Zendaya's like, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what's going on. And then you'd have to have, you'd sit down and have a three hour long conversation sit down about, with her like about the future of your relationship. Do you want to have to go through with that? I don't think Keanu Reeves has anybody in his life where I would have to sit down and be like, 
we need to talk about what this means You don't for us. think so? No. He what looks, do you mean? He just looks sleepy. He's like a cat. <laughs> he's like a human cat. I'd be so like, you think he's incapable of having like a loving wife who like- He probably does, but I feel like it wouldn't be so difficult. He'd just be like, this is what I'm doing now. And she's like, you don't really do anything anyway. So I guess this is an improvement. I'd be like, we're going to Lowe's. Damn. And he wouldn't care. You know, he's, a, he's like, he, he was an astronaut. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. There's no way. He was an astronaut. He worked for NASA. He was going to, going to go to space. And what? then he ended up picking up an acting career. Are you sure? Where did he go to school? Cornell. No, he didn't. Yeah. Are you fucking... Can we can we get a fact check on this? There's yeah. no way. Well, then, of course, I want to be conjoined with him. He was in Kevin Almighty, too. <laughs> Who would you pick? I, was, I would pick... Um, Johnson, wait, I would. I don't know. Wait, did you wait, finish? Did you pick? Yeah, so I'd buzz um, John Wick's hair. Mm -hmm. And you kill. Oh, yeah. And then conjoin with. Zendaya. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cornell would have I said forgot. that. I made everything up. Um, Continue. Damn. <laughs> I forgot I lied about the whole thing. My fault, guys. Sorry. Who? What was your pick? Fuck! I didn't even think about it. Ugh. Um. I'd probably could join with Steve Carell. Because He's a dad. Uh, you're a so? dad now. But like, I think you'd be a good dad. Be, actually, Zendaya and I would get along. But like, what if we fall in love? <laughs> like, I feel like I was there thinking be that some too. Chemistry. What kind? Narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> thing is that no. If I was conjoined with Zendaya, like we'd probably fall in love. Like okay, fine. Let me rephrase it. I think I would fall in love with Zendaya if I was conjoined. That with makes her. more sense. But I think like, I think I would too. Yeah. But I didn't think that like. Mary well, actually, was maybe off. I wouldn't, cause like by day one, like we're gonna have to poop. <laughs> oh yeah, but wait, I think wait, wait. it would. Be and it's like, gonna sting. It'd be cute because it's like, <laughs> and that would take away your love for her. I think I would. I think it would like. <laughs> Like how that would be kind of uncomfortable, like first day. Like I don't think I would like. Yeah, but maybe if, it would make you closer. If you love someone, mm, like true. I think eventually I would love her more. But the first yeah. few weeks, it would be a lot more uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Anyway, <laughs> I think like I could fall in love with her too if we're conjoined because then it's like it's like your partner for the rest of your life. I mean, if you're not related, like if you can be conjoined and not related, sure. Then even though because technically people who are conjoined are related so you can't fall in love with them but if yeah. it's like if it's like me and her got conjoined tomorrow yeah it's like we would have a happy life together because i would make it a happy life yeah you guys would be the like that's optimistic tom like holland that. gotta go the closest or maybe yeah. maybe he doesn't ever. have to go right you can if, make if i'm work. into him if i meet him and he's kind of charismatic because sometimes people are like eh, on screen and then you like meet them and they're like oi and it's like they're like really charismatic oh yeah yeah for sure what if she's annoying though? What if she like? Yeah, what yeah, if she like drinks something that. and she goes? <laughs> and you're like, oh my god! <laughs> Shut up! You would, you would end up killing her, and then you'd be like, well, or I they just yawn. Myself. They yawn like. <laughs> That's a really funny like. They do that like, anytime she drinks something ever, like throughout the day, always. Ah. Because <laughs> if you had a fight with her, you'd be like, like fighting like this. Like, That's can you funny. please stop it? You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. You know what I mean? And then I just like yank. Up. I would I, I mean I would like, yoink. I would be like oh, I know that you're like an Oscar award winner she isn't I don't think but you could be like I know that you're a real actress or whatever but like at this point nobody's gonna want to fucking cast you the best yeah. you can do is TLC and I would just make them <laughs> I would make them I would make that shit work Me that's my so wife funny motherfucker <laughs> yeah you, we would I would be like we would have our own show but that's my funny. life with a celebrity my, my life, life with a celebrity. could join with can join Zendaya. If you could just go live in the woods with like a dog in an isolated part of the world, would you do it? Right yeah. now, no. Okay. I think maybe I think maybe in like ten years. Yeah. If well can I bring like am I can I can I bring like a like a, a person a family? Sure. Then I'd do that I would probably do that with my family. I read a book once called Into the Woods and it was about a guy who did this crazy, like did that and did a bunch of things but then there was a quote in it that i actually really liked it's like happiness is only real when shared because he thought he'd be happy by going out on his own yeah so you'd have to bring someone or like document it or something great what i about, bring zendaya <laughs> 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 what about um i read this book called hatchet hmm? and it was about um do you know hatchet that's a common one did you laugh wait did you laugh no the, a door closed. the bear is laughing the bear is laughing at me. There's a bear? That's an otter. 
I'm scared. It's an otter. Um, it was about um, <laughs> what? I think the bear is a bad show. What? What is Hatchet about? It's about Keanu Reeves. All right, I think we're done with this shit. We're done. We're done. We're done. So how do you close this? I don't really know. We just goodbye. Kinda, I love you. We just kind of waited thank you for, for them to turn off the cameras. Thank you for having me. I don't have an outro. Thanks for oh. being here, Adriana. Thanks for being here. This Adriana. was so much fun, and um, I go love... follow Adriana on um all of her socials. Yeah, we'll put it Instagram, here. YouTube, TikTok, Google Plus, put your Gmail. Ads. Say them. Oh, my at is Adriana Kick. Lee with one N and an H at the end of Adriana. And then Lee, L-E-E. One time I went to Starbucks and this girl, I said, I always say Lee because I don't like saying Adriana because it's like longer. You know what I mean? You have to write it. Anyways, so I say Lee and she's like, okay. She's like a sorority girl. And then I see my cup, it's spelled L-E-I-G-H. Whoa. And I was she, like, That was extra as fuck. Like, you know how like they spell Ashley? Yeah. Like the white girl that's name. Just, like, that's <laughs> just extra. D- fuck off with the G-H. I know. Anyways, but thank you for having me. I had so much fun and I love listening to you guys talk and talking with that's you guys. That's so kind. You are so kind. But it's true. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to... Happy birthday. Gonna Happy birthday you. to you. I just feel the need to punch you. you not because punch me. No, Not because I don't I like it. you, but I just want to punch someone. I know. Yeah. It's okay. I don't want to... Pu- I'm not going to no, punch it's you. it's okay. It's okay. Caroline, punch me. <laughs> Caroline, you cut can the, punch Cut me. the cameras. Cut, I don't want this on camera. Cut the cameras. At least take your ring off if you're going to punch me. I'll do it with this hand.